Hello, my crafty friends. This is Lori, Girl on the Ridge. I have some things for my Etsy. I'm going to go through quick because I'm expecting company. So I've just got some envelopes um, sets done. Each envelope comes they're ugh, roughly seven and a quarter by eight and a quarter, give or take a couple, you know, a quarter of an inch here or there. They're all handmade. It's with a very um, old white paper I had. It was on a roll. I tripled it, tea dyed it, and then sewed it. And it's really crunchy. It's not parchment paper. I really don't know what it is. So this is um, number one. And they're all, um, some vin uh, a lot of vintage. I got a lot of vintage trim on these, vintage quill, and Greg shorthand sheets and music paper. And then each one comes with a, and these are the different, um, a 1948 flashcard, a little pretty, you can either put it in a page or you can actually glue a um, paper clip to it. And then another little bag and it's got some stamps on it. And then inside the bag I made... And I'm just going to show this once. I won't show it to all of them because I have like 10 of them. You'll get these two. And these are glycine bags that I stamped on. And then a set of four with a piece of, um, this is my hand dyed silk trim. And this is a whole set. There's this little girl, the school, this little girl, and then card so you have so eat in each of the envelopes is a set of these six bags so this is number one and try not to get a messed up and this is number ah, two and this is some really old crochet um, thread that I had and there's the little pretty, and then there's that little one. So that's number two. And some I, I stamped on the back, craft worthy. And I'm already out of whack here. This is number three. She's a cutie. There's a the little envelope. Here's my little pretty. Huh? There's the little flash card with that trim. These are still the my vintage doll paper dolls, and then the little little pretty. So that is number three. Oh, come on. There's never an easy way, I tell you. Number four. Again, with the little envelope. Some of the envelopes are different. Oh, that goes inside. And this. And where did her little thing go? Oh, there it is. And there's hers. So this is number four. And this is number five. I need more room. And this one is more of the blues. This one's pretty. I love her. Oh, this one had a little bag tucked behind her. You could leave it or you could take it out. There's her little pretty. And then the same little, both stamps are in the front. So that is number five. And these are all listed in my Etsy with the numbers. I'm doing such a great job with them. Number six. And this is the... Time card, or the... There's a the pretty, and there's the envelope. Number seven. These little girls are so cute, but they look so sad. 
and got that one. I put a lot of that string. This one is all wax. I put that string on it because I just like that look. We're just trying to do, keep missing the little pretty girls. Little dropper. The bag, and there's her. That's number seven. Number eight. Again, with the little sweet sisters. This one is in the little blue, too. And I put a little bag there. And her little pretty. And then a little, another little. Don't forget, inside of them, you'll get the six other bags. And then this one is number nine. See, was that number eight? Yep, that was eight. Oh my god. Now this one has more. This is all old quilt. So this is a little more simpler. And then I just did some quilt in the back. And then this is the uh, this is all oh man. Um waxed. This is a little pretty. And then the envelope. And then the last one, I love her. This is, I, I did all the envelopes I did with some old paper, vintage photo, gathered um, twigs, gathered something. And that one has a little raggedy. And this one has all the twine over. This is all wax. And then I put a little bag on the back. So that is the flashcard. And this is another little... Like I said, you can do whatever you want with that. And then the other little bag. So these are listed to my Etsy. This will probably be it for a while because I really need to get going on my journals. So thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday, and we'll see you soon. Bye.